Hi folks, yes, we are working out. Let me go ahead and stop sh start sharing. Inside Facebook group, we're gonna have full body workout. All levels, 30 minutes. Without further ado, I'm gonna share and start us in. I'm still sitting at my uh, workstation. But very soon, we will be on the fit. All right, get my socks off. Get your body ready, dumbbells ready. It will be a lot of fun. Okay, I am sharing. All right, let's get us going. Exciting, exciting, exciting. All right, folks, I just changed my position. So let me double check that we are all here and you actually see my face mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> the best way is to actually join our webinar. This way we will have all connection at the same time, all together. All right, thank you for being here. I see ya. All right, I'll just let you be knowing that we are here all together. And I'm also gonna double check inside friends and health facebook group all right folks we are here for the full body workout for me it's the number five vip the last one for today <laughs> but it's going to be awesome 30 minutes plus minus sometimes it's between 25 and 30 full body workout all levels i do my best to show modifications and full body did i say that we usually go live on Tuesday and Friday at 1.15 Central Time. If you want updates, it is via nadiatash.com forward slash fitness. What I'm going to do, I am going to uh, type it in, in the live share. So if somebody is joining in later. Hello, Manuel, Suzanne, and Bob. All right, awesome. Are you working out with us? If you are, get ready your body weight, get ready your dumbbells, and actually a chair. We're gonna use a chair today, preferably better than the, the uh, office chair. Office chair sometimes is too flimsy. You want something that, that is really st stable and solid. All right, so this full body workout is designed for strength training, which is also, I designed them in the way they're great for the weight loss as well. Again, Tuesday, Friday, 1 to 15 Central Time. If you would like more personalized approach, please do connect with me. Let's have your complimentary fitness assessment first. I'll let you know what you need to do exactly to reach your goals. We also have group classes. For those who have a full-time job, you need quick in and out and still stay for you, with you, start the day with you. We teach on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. We have a couple of spots left or one, two. That is that. And did I say 5.15 a.m.? And folks, I help overwhelmed and overweight professionals to get off the weight loss roller coaster. Who wants that? So you can be the role model that you know you are through a transformation of lifestyle and habit change. How I do it, three most important areas for our health is mindset, nutrition, and fitness. That's where I step in with all my skills and knowledge. I do my best to know where you are and how exactly to get where you want to be for you, for your life. All right, let's stop in there. Right now is all about fitness. Here's what we're gonna do. Real quick, I'm gonna show you each exercise so you know what it is. While you're watching, two things. Warm up, prepare your equipment. And each exercise will be 40 seconds long, 20 seconds in between. Each round will be about, uh, let's say, 12 minutes-ish. We will have one minute transition between rounds. Each round will be finished with some kind of cardio. Your best goal after the cardio is really get yourself the time for recovery, which means I usually say just walk around, quick sip of water, but don't stand after this cardio. Okay, 
I'll give the instructions along the way as well. So again, full body workout. For the first one, we're gonna use the mat. So get your mat ready. And do please feel free to communicate with me because I do read the comments and I actually talk with you when we work out. So for the first one, really focus on your back. On the breathe out, pick up and create letter W with your arms. Then lower down and when you breathe out, create letter I with your arms, okay? Seems easy, but you will know. Next one, I will go and ask you to stand better on the flat surface, unless you want an extra challenge. You can have a cold on the wall, on the chair, and straight leg kick back, okay? And then we're gonna switch. Next one is, that's where you can grab a chair. It's for upper body, core, and triceps. I call it chair push-up. So I'm gonna sit at the edge of the chair, grab the sides of the chair and lift myself up. So it kind of feels a little awkward, but you will notice how much power you have to produce to pull yourself up. All right, finishing this round with high knees. For beginner, you can just nice and easy, solidly, pick up the knee one at a time. Maybe you can hop. Nice and easy again, make sure you've got balance control for advanced. As high as possible, and knees go in front of you, not bottom, not behind you, high knees. Second round, you can grab dumbbells and we create sumo squat with toes out, knees towards the toes. Just hold the dumbbells on your thighs and you'll be standing there for 40 seconds. Second and the second round, shoulder raises. Light dumbbells, pick them up sideways, then switch your arm or your palms looking up all the way up. I'm gonna show you this way. Then switch your palms down. And let's actually finish from the front. I know I started different ways. So this, this, palms, and then go back, okay? All right. Next one is uh, <laughs> I'm looking at my oh okay I switched it I switched it okay so for the next one I'll switch them back we will go in the tabletop grab your medium dumbbells and where you hold your dumbbells um, actually it will be easier to show the dumbbells right underneath kind of your neck height and i'm going to pick up dumbbells in the bicep curl okay also what you can do is actually be in the plank and do the same thing but make sure your hips are parallel to the floor the last one we're going to go for jumping jack all right are you ready i always sweat the most when i show the exercise <laughs> All right, so who is working out here? Say, I am Ian. I'm actually gonna do it with you today. All right, thanks for watching and let's get started. All right, awesome. So the first one, we are on the mat for letter W and letter I with your arms. I am gonna start timing us. So we are laying down on the mat. Make sure you switch in between when you're laying down. Inhale and exhale, lift your chest off the mat. Ready, stay ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. If you like to be, be a little more advanced, go ahead and include your legs. Pick up your legs, squeeze your butt. But I really want you to focus on your back muscles. Don't jerk. Use the breath, exhale all the way out and pick your arms all the way out. Squeeze your shoulder blades when you create letter W. 15 seconds left. Make sure you've got good muscle control going on. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo, that was good. All right. 
All right, so I switched when I was showing to you. In this round, we are going to go for leg raise. Okay, so find the place. Maybe you want to use the chair to lean. Make sure your leg, lift your leg straight, leg back. All right, and I will let you know when to switch. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Here's your ball. Not to move your hips sideways, don't help. Keep your hips where they are. Also keep your leg high for just a little bit more. Squeeze the very last second is really important one. If you actually have resistant bands bend in your house, you can actually put it around your legs and have that extra resistance. Five, three, two, one, and switch. All right, shake your legs. How is everyone doing? Are you ready? And three, two, one, and let's do the other side. Keep checking your hips, not helping, not twisting your body. Try to keep your legs straight. I noticed I wasn't keeping my legs straight. Squeeze the glutes, help the leg be in a good kind of square shaped form. Halfway. Almost there. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, and done. Woo! For those who have a little bit sore back, I know back was involved, just relax and enjoy a little bit of hanging down. Good stretch for the back. All right. And next one is tabletop bicep curls. So for me, I'm gonna just grab five just to play with it. I haven't done it for a while. Option, you can be on the tabletop. Think about 90 degree in your elbow. Or you can be in the flank. 90 degree in your elbows. And make sure that you keep your hips parallel to the floor. You ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. What an unusual exercise. Keep your hips parallel to the floor. Make sure you keep your shoulders strong. Don't help. Halfway. Oh, how are you feeling now? Next round, we're gonna repeat it one more time. Check in with your weight. Three, two, one, and done. So you wanna ask yourself the question, how was my weight this time? Do I need to lift it up a little bit to hit that edge? All right, folks. Next one is high knees. I think I need to adjust the screen so you can see a little bit more of me, isn't it? All right, so for the high knees, Again, you can just do one knee at a time. Maybe you can go in a faster walk, or you can hop and switch them in between in the air. Are you ready? Stay ready. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. I encourage you to stay with what you started, unless you want to pick it up and go faster. 30 seconds. No matter what you're doing, as long as you're not stopping. This is really good for the core, good for the balance. If you look at me sideways, I never have legs straight. I always keep my knees bent. It helps to protect my knees. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Relax. All right, folks. We've got one minute transition. Walk it out. Don't stand still. It's active recovery. We want to help your heart rate go down slowly. 
walk out a little bit and then write for me which one is your favorite which one do you like all right so i wonder who is joining us on facebook are you working out or you're just speaking <laughs> who is speaking <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay so what's your favorite thing i'm learning how to here you go plank curl skipping hip still indeed yes especially if you're in the plank oh my goodness that's a killer all right good for the core so sometimes you don't have to do the core exercises because you're already engaging your abs in compound movements when you combine several movements into one okay folks guess what we're gonna do it all over again ah! <laughs> okay now you know what's coming for this round so let's get to the fun work so the first one was the boat in yoga terms with creating the shape of your arms as letter W and letter I if you feel confident enough grab your light weights but I really want you to go deep with your form rather than heavy on the weight. Three, two, one, let's go. You can hear I'm breathing out every time I pick up my arms in the air. You can certainly have a break and lie down, or you can just keep going all the way up halfway as much as you can ten seconds five three two one and relax okay Woo. next one is a leg raise straight back maybe this time you don't have to hold anything see if you can work on that stability or you can hold and work through the depth of your range of motion are you ready three two one let's go try to keep your toes looking down so try not to alternate any kind of angle and hold just a little bit on the very top. Get the muscles squeeze the last, last inch of it. My goal for you, halfway, is not to jerk your motions, not to jerk your muscles. Muscle control, don't rush. 10 seconds in my workouts, I want you to focus on the depth, on the uh, angle, on the form, three, two one relax i want you to focus on the form remember how to so when you do it on your own or you do it in the class you know the right way three two one let's go Thirty seconds Getting close. 15. Standing leg, slightly soft knee. And five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Whew. All right, shake those legs. There you go, tabletop with bicep curl. Now you know, I'm actually going to grab eight pounds just because they got a little more uh, distance between the carpet. I'm on the carpet, so it's a little bit different, but it's up to you, all right, folks? You can be in the plank, you can be in the tabletop, but make sure you keep your shoulders strong. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to keep it 90 degree. 
Really want you to hold that extra second on the top. Feel the tension. Your muscle is really fighting you right now, especially second time. You're halfway already. Check your form. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, relax. All right, folks. For the high knees, you choose what high knee you're gonna do. Either switch one at a time, switch for faster pace, or hop. It's up to you, okay? All right, and then you'll have one minute transition. Are you ready? Great. Three, two, one, let's go. Push yourself. Don't look at anyone, don't look at me. You know your limit, and you know how far you can push yourself. And if you don't, if you doubt, my recommendation is actually not to do it. But the best recommendation is to ask someone. Maybe ask a professional, 15 seconds. Let, let them talk with you. Ask your questions, 10. And see what's possible for you. Five, three, two, one, relax. Woo, all right, folks. You got one minute transition. Walk it out, sip a little bit of water. The rest of the bottle will go later, right after the workout. We are moving into the round two for this workout. So, which one is the challenge for you? My definition of challenge is something I kind of don't like, but because it's so challenging, I kind of like doing the challenging. <laughs> there are some movements that I really like, and they don't come that difficult, still challenging but I'm okay with them. Actually, high knees is one of those that I kind of don't like them, but that's why I like them. Does it make sense? <laughs> All right, high knees, how you go? <laughs> 190, woohoo! There's some tracking going on in there, awesome. All right, who is watching us live? Let me know. All right, folks, one minute is up. So our second round is, oh, that's my favorite. It's sumo squat. Grab your heavy weight. This is for legs. You should feel quite a bit in your inside thighs. Sumo squat, literally, you're putting your toes out, but make sure your knees are in the direction of your toes. And just hold the dumbbells on your thighs for extra weight. If you really want to get fancy, maybe bicep curls, but make sure shoulders down. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm just going to be this fancy and just be in the sumo. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Really good for those inside muscles, but make sure you're not giving in to the knees wanting to go forward. Your knees go in the direction of your toes. Sit back. Sit like in a squat behind your knees, knees somewhat behind your toes. 15 seconds. Let's go and sit a little cl closer to the floor, a little lower. <sighs> How those bicep curls going on if somebody's doing those? Three, two, one, and relax. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna have them on my mat. Next one is for shoulders. So you pick your weight because that's really up to you what weight your shoulders can handle. I'm gonna have, actually I'm just gonna go for five pounds for me. That's why we are switching. So we go forward, make sure we got a good stand. Sideways, palms up, go up. I'm actually going to keep my palms and then switch them in the middle. Okay, that feels a little better for my wrist. All right, folks. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is your first round. So play with it, see how it feels, and ask yourself a question. 
How can I go slightly more the next time? This one is good for shoulders. So much going on in here. It's amazing. Be very gentle going with yourself. Know what's your limit physically and know your edge physically, emotionally, mentally. Set five seconds. Three, two, one, release. Oh, that's a good one. All right, folks. Tricep chair push up. So if you found the chair, great. If not, you can actually practice it on the mat. You can even, if you're on the mat, have the dumbbells behind you and press against dumbbells. But the form is still the same. So keep your dumbbells slightly behind your hip. Show us your hands. So here's the move. It's really very little. Some of us don't even get off the chair. Three, two, one, let's go. It should feel awkward because it is. Keep pushing. Halfway, get those muscles going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and zero. Woo, just sit on that chair. All right, folks. Last one is our favorite jumping jacks. <laughs> so for jumping jacks, for the beginner, I would recommend just go halfway. Make sure to tap your toes on the floor. You don't have to keep them in the air. That kind of throws you off the balance, okay? Maybe you can even go across in the middle of your body. You can also jump and make a little bit long, longer poses. You can go just like that or this will be the advanced option. Are you ready? Great. Three, two, one, let's go. Oops. We're gonna show all variations. Stick with one variation and go all the way. This beginner engages a little extra core. Really watch your form. For advanced, my mat sticks. 20 seconds. All right, let's keep going. 15 seconds. 10. Five, three, two, one, and done. Woo! Whew. I got a vigorous option of basic. <laughs> All right, folks, one minute transition. Tell me which one is your favorite here? That one now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got hungry <laughs> in between the workout. Who's here? Mm -hmm. Okay, one minute transition. Which one is your favorite? Mm -hmm. Which one is my favorite? Of course, sumo squat. It's mine. How about yours? All right, folks, our minute is coming, and we will start with my favorite, sumo squat. Sumo and weight got heavy, uh-huh. Very nice, all right, let's do our favorite then. Now you know what it is, maybe you can adjust. Maybe now you can add those bicep curls or shoulder raises, whatever is your option. Toes out. Three, two, one, let's do it. All right, this is our last round. 
So let's get it all out. If you have some more left, make sure to get it out. Good for stress reduction too, huh? Mm, look what we can do next time. Watch my heels. Oh, 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 oh. Well, maybe two. All right, 15 seconds, sit a little lower. Make sure your knees are still looking towards the direction of your toes. Keep your form perfect for me and yourself. Watch yourself, three, two, one, and release. All right, folks, that's why I kept my weights with me. Next one will be shoulder raise. Okay, Whew. how are you all doing there? Did I tell you we finished with plank all together? Today is our last day of the plank additional time, so it will be two minutes. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. But don't worry about the plank. We're not going to do it for two minutes. If you are done, we're going to do it. I'm going to count every five seconds. I'm going to tell you. You will know where exactly you are. 25 seconds. <clears throat> sure, you can track your progress because that's what you want. And if you want to keep more, get your timer going. Go with me so you can start tracking. If you already did the two minute limit, you can go longer. Five seconds. It's all for you. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo. This one is good, 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 good. Tricep chair push up. Again, you can do it on the mat with dumbbells, so you can do it on the chair. I kind of like to do it on the chair because I'm closer to you on the screen. Okay. <clears throat> Think about engaging your upper body, engaging your shoulders, squeezing your core in. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. The time is just running out so fast. Have you noticed how we covered full body so fast? Amazing. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo. And by the way, if you love those workouts and you sign up for the updates, I do send those recordings to whoever signed up for the mailing list through that link, nadetash.com forward slash fitness. All right, folks, jumping jacks. And then we're gonna have a one minute transition and finish all together with plank. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. This stick, mat sticks. Breathe every time you jump or switch, exhale. Do not hold your breath. You're already at halfway. This is your last chance, squeeze it all out. This is your last cardio. 15 seconds. You still can do more, do more. Five. Three, two, one, recover. Alright folks, give you a one minute transition. What's your most challenging here? Oh man, jumping jacks for me. It's just, it's always jumping jacks. I know I can do them, but if I have a choice, I'll choose something else. <laughs> That's mine. How about yours? Okay. Ooh. And then when I watch myself on recording, I'm thinking, oh gosh, she's got some energy. Not for me today. <laughs> Jumping jacks are good. All right. Okay, folks. So walk it out, grab a sip. Remember which one was your time for the plank last time. So at the top of our month, 
We will finish with two minutes, then we'll go to one minute and we will add five seconds each time. But again, if you wanna keep longer, start timing with me so you can actually keep longer. Why not? Let's find your edge. My suggestion for you each workout at five more seconds. You can hold for five seconds. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, so plank can be different variation. If you're just starting, you can even use the wall. You can use the chair or a countertop. On the mat, you can start here with straight arms, squeeze your butt in, knees back, shoulders on top of your hands. You can also pick up your knees, full arm plank. You can put your knees on the ground, forearm plank, squeeze your butt in. Or pick up your knees and be in a total forearm plank, okay? All right, so not to spend any more time on instructions, so I'll give you more when we do the plank. Are you ready? You're ready. Wow, folks, two minutes. Two. And three, two, one, let's go. All right. Five seconds, watch your form. Ooh, now I know what I did, 10 seconds. I went the opposite way. <laughs> it's all right, 15. 20. 25 seconds. Doing great. 30 seconds. 35, make sure your time is squeezed towards the spine, straight legs. 40 seconds in, nice. 45 seconds, look down. I'm an exception, I'm watching the clock. 50 seconds, awesome. 55. And three, two, one, second minute. Woohoo! Minute five. Minute ten. The time is running out. Minute fifteen. Straight legs, flat back. Minute twenty. Make sure your shoulder blades are not sticking out. Minute twenty-five. Minute 30, all right, coming to the end. Minute 35, Whew. Minute 40, record your time. Know your progress, 45. And my minute 50, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Okay, folks. By the second minute, I found all imperfections on my mat. <laughs> and what is your time in the plank? I want to know. How is it? I'm going to set a timer for the next time. Thank you for all the high fives and hearts. And the comments, three minutes. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, that is awesome. Okay, folks, so we did our 30 minute full body workout, went through all the muscle groups. Now you know what it's like. It's for strength. It is also a great workout for the weight loss. If you have any questions, please let me know, naughtyties.com forward slash fitness. If you're interested in group classes, accountability is everything. Let me know. And on Fridays is the best way to complete and finish the week. We are talking on health and life, motivation, inspiration, movement, mindset. Today, have you ever heard the concept transformation versus change? That's actually the key to setting your healthy habits for the rest of your life. So come over to Friends in Health at 2.30 Central Time, literally in 35 minutes. Let's talk about it. I'll see you in the community. Bye-bye, guys. Great job.